Noria. Detailed Phases Explanation In this video, we will explain the four phases in detail that each player will execute on their turn. You should already be familiar with Noria's setup and general concepts explained in the introduction video. The four phases in your turn are the Influence Phase, the Action Phase, the Politics Phase, and the Administration Phase. In the Influence Phase, there are two different special actions you can take to change the position of the discs in your wheel. You do not have to use these special actions. With the special action Night Shift, you pay one knowledge to rotate the medium or the large ring one space in a clockwise direction. You cannot rotate the small ring with this special action. The special action modification costs two knowledge and lets you change the position of the discs in your wheel. Either swap the position of two discs, or move a disc to an empty space in your wheel. You may either move the discs within one ring, or move the disc or discs between two rings. In a game with two, three, or four players, the cost for these special actions increases in round 11, 10, or 9, respectively, by one knowledge for the rest of the game. From this round onward, Night Shift costs two knowledge, and Modification costs three knowledge. This round is specially marked on the round track as a reminder. You can use these special actions multiple times during your influence phase. If you use the same special action a second time in a turn, you have to pay double the price. For a third time, you pay four times the price. For a fourth time, you pay eight times the price, and so on. In the action phase, you activate up to three discs in the active half of your wheel. At the beginning of the game, all discs are placed with their normal side face up. A normal activated disc lets you use one of its actions. During the game, you can upgrade your discs with the tool disc. If you activate an upgraded disc, you can use two of its actions in a row. If the disc offers two action possibilities, you can use the same action twice or each of its actions once. Even if you activate more upgraded discs in a turn, you are only allowed to use two actions with one of them. Therefore, you can only ever use a maximum of four actions per turn. Let us explain the discs and their action possibilities. The resource discs, obsidian, mycelium, or energy, only offer one action. If you activate one of them, you take the corresponding resources from the common supply. You take one resource per ship in your supply transporting this resource. If you activate an upgraded disc, you take double the resources. When you activate a city disc, you can choose between two actions. The first one is called Market. With this action, you can take new discs for your wheel from the market. Resource discs are free. The cost of the other discs depends on their position on the market. Pay one to four resources of your choice into the common supply. Take the disc from the market and place it in the middle of your wheel for now. In the administration phase, you can place it into your wheel. You cannot use a newly bought disc this turn. The second possible action of the city disc is investment. You invest in one of the four projects by moving your representative one level up in the corresponding path and paying the stated price. With the two paths on the left side, you pay with resources by putting them back into the common supply. With the two paths on the right side, you pay with goods. You pay with goods by turning the corresponding warehouses in your supply from the full side to the empty side. On three of the paths, you can find this symbol. It means that you have to pay the price with at least two different resources or goods depicted on the path. If there is no symbol present, you have to pay the price with the same type of resource or good. Additionally, you have to pay one resource of your choice for each representative of another player that is ahead of you on the same path. You pay these resources to the common supply before you move. You can only have one representative on each path. The journey disc lets you choose between two different actions as well. 
With this action, you move your ambassador from one island to another, after which you can decide if you either want to build a factory there or get a new ship. Place your ambassador on another island and pay one resource of your choice into the common supply per ambassador of another player that is already there. If there's still a face down island, you can decide to discover a new island. But you must place your ambassador on the new island you discover. When you reveal a new island, put the depicted ships on the designated spaces. The amount of ships is dependent on the number of players and the symbol shown. This symbol means that you place the player count plus one ships on the corresponding spaces. These symbols mean that you place the player count minus one or minus two ships, respectively, on the corresponding spaces. In a two-player game, you place at least one ship on every space. Now you can use one of the two actions on the island. Either take one of the ships off of the island and place it next to your ships in your supply, if there are ships left, or you can place a factory on the island. Take the topmost factory from your tableau and place it on a free building space of that island. Dependent on the building space, you either take one or two of the corresponding warehouses and put them with the empty side face up next to your tableau. You cannot use this action if there are no more free building spaces on the island or if you've already built your seven factories. The tool disk enables you to use the upgrade or production action. If you decide to use the upgrade action, you can turn a disc in your wheel from its normal side to its upgraded side. You cannot activate the disc you just upgraded in that turn. A tool disc cannot upgrade itself, but may upgrade another tool disc. If you use production, you can produce one or more goods. Propellers, sails, and compass are simple goods and cost two resources each to produce. Lamp and piston are complex goods and cost three resources each. Produce one good by paying its resource cost on the empty side of the warehouse and turn it to its full side. When you produce, you can either produce several goods of a single type, or you can produce one good of each type. You can only produce goods from which you have empty warehouses next to your tableau. The seventh type of disc is the bonus disc. The bonus disc is always activated as the first disc in your action phase. When you activate it, you choose another disc that you will activate in that turn. You can use that disc an additional time when you activate it. If the chosen disc is upgraded, you can use it three times in your turn. When you activate an upgraded bonus disc, you can either use one other disc two additional times once it's activated, or you can activate two discs each an additional time once they've been activated. Another possibility in your action phase is the substitute action, Inspection. Instead of activating a disc, you can skip its activation entirely to take one knowledge from the supply. The disc has to be one of the three adjacent discs that you chose in the beginning of your action phase. The last possible action you can take is the exchange action, Black Market. Before, in between, or after you activate your discs, you may exchange goods into knowledge or knowledge into resources as often as you want. For one simple good, you will receive two knowledge. And for a complex good, you will receive three knowledge. You can also pay three knowledge to take a resource of your choice. The third phase of your turn is the politics phase. In this phase, you can use the special action Intrigue. The knowledge cost for this action corresponds to the current number of cogwheels visible on the round track. Move one politician from the top section of a chamber to the leftmost empty light seat in the bottom section of that chamber. Afterwards, remove one politician that has not yet been placed from the top section of a chamber of your choice permanently from the game. You can use this special action multiple times in your politics phase. If you use Intrigue the second time in a turn, you have to pay double the price. For the third time, you pay four times the price. 
For the fourth time, you pay eight times the price, and so on. The administration phase is the last phase of your turn. During the game, you take factories from top to bottom from your tableau and place them on islands. For each visible cogwheel, you get one knowledge in the administration phase. Additionally, you rotate each of the three rings of your wheel one position in the clockwise direction. At last, you can place discs which you bought with the market action into your wheel. You can place the new disc into empty or occupied spaces. If you choose an occupied space, the old disc is removed from the game. That is the end of the administration phase, and also the end of a complete player turn. Now it's the next player's turn. For more details, examples, and the rules for the expert game, please consider the rulebook. For the basic rules and setup, please watch the introduction video for Noria. And now, we wish you lots of fun in the world of Noria.